Hello, I'm Dana Cowley, and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. Today we're in Salem talking to your elected leaders, and my guest today is Senator Ted Ferrioli. Thank you so much for joining oh, us. I thank really you very appreciate much. you being here. Yeah, you bet. You wanted to explain to the viewers the difference between the short and the long session. Well, Oregonians uh, gave the legislature permission to have annual sessions, and we promised that what we would do during our annual sessions, uh, the, uh, the short session versus the longer session, 35 days, was really stay focused on budgetary issues, on emerging issues that have uh, real import for Oregonians and some, uh, not necessarily a crisis mode, although government does seem to be in a crisis mode most of the time, <laughs> uh, but really deal with some of those issues that folks thought uh, we needed to turn our attention to. Uh, what we're really seeing is uh, a relatively short legislative session with tight deadlines, uh, dealing with relatively tough issues that require a lot more thought and a lot more involvement and maybe more careful deliberation than we're able to give them in a short session. Uh, an example would be uh, the governor announced that we would uh, either make a decision on the Columbia River crossing by March the 10th or we would lose the federal funding. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the kind of pressure that puts on people. That is a minimum $3 billion decision, and it would disrupt Oregon commerce and transportation for years. So it's a huge commitment of resources. Uh, another issue that uh, has come before uh, the legislature is whether or not uh, the legislature will refer uh, a, the question to Oregon voters about whether or not we should have uh, recreational marijuana mm -hmm. legalized in the state of Oregon as they have in Washington. Uh, now, the implications of that kind of a change in our society are far-reaching. They'll affect uh, every segment of our communities and rural and ur uh, urban Oregonians alike. Uh, and to try to make a decision about the consequences before we've had an opportunity to observe what will happen in Washington and Colorado seems to be irrational to me. So there's another idea of uh, <clears throat> a very large uh, implication that we're taking up in a relatively short session. Uh, people have heard about expanding background checks to make that universal. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. That's a very controversial issue. I'm receiving about a thousand emails a day. Wow. Uh, we're doing that uh, with uh, sh very short timelines for hearings. Matter of fact, in the Senate, we have a one hour notice for hearings. You were concerned about that because people really can't get in and speak their mind on a subject. Well, this is supposed to be an opportunity for Oregonians to engage with their government. And for instance, in the House, they've actually gone to uh, post and go, which is no notice required other than posting for the uh, hearing by the chair and they do no notice for amendments. So it really does uh, increase people's suspicion about how their government is operating. And I think it's fair to say that this short session has excluded public involvement rather than encouraged public involvement. We only have 30 seconds left, but yeah. what would you like to accomplish before this session is over, your top priority? Well, my top priority would be uh, to end this session uh, doing those kinds of things that Oregonians expect us to do, balance the budget, do something to remove obstacles to job creation, and really limit the short session to those kinds of things that people regard as emergencies. Uh, leave the big ideas to the longer session, and frankly leave the electioneering until uh, after this short session is over so uh, Oregonians can fairly and carefully consider the issues, not all in a rush. Senator Ted Ferrioli. Ma'am, thank you. Thank you for coming. You bet. And thank you for watching. This is Charter Local Edition Northwest in Salem. I'm Dana Cowley.